Hey folks, this is Game Master Mike, and this is going to be another top 5 hidden gems in my collection. Now, we already did the Sega Genesis, and now we're going to do the Super Nintendo hidden gems, which apparently needs more attention than they deserve. Now, we're not going to be talking about Mario, because everyone knows that Mario is awesome, and... It is perfect for platformers, but I picked five of the Super Nintendo games that need some attention that if you um, get it and start playing it, then you'll fall in love with it. And so, we are going to start with these five Super Nintendo games that I've picked out in my collection. Alright, number five is Beavis and Butthead. I like Beavis and Butthead. It is hilarious. And the Super Nintendo version of um, Beavis and Butthead is pretty neat. It is um, hilarious. You, like, go to um, school, the mall, um, Burger World. Your play is Beavis and Butthead. And you pretty much attack and beat up guys. You go um, explore everything. It's almost like you're watching a Beavis and Butthead episode. That's how um, pretty neat it is that... Um, Heard some say that it's not good, but if you um, play it, then you'll uh, fall in love with it. Number four, we got Aladdin. This is the Capcom and Super Nintendo version of Aladdin. There's the uh, Sega Genesis version of Aladdin, which is good, but this is a lot different than the Sega Genesis version of Aladdin. I've uh, played it, and it is pretty awesome. I really do love the uh, levels and graphics on it. Um... The stages are very simple, and so is the fights. Well, I had not a problem with this game, which is pretty fantastic. It's a gem that you need to put in your collection and started playing it. You'll be um, in love and inspired with the Super Nintendo version of Aladdin, just like the Sega Genesis version. Both versions are pretty good. I like the Genesis version a lot better than the Super Nintendo, but this is a also a gem. Number three, we got Tasmania. I like the almost like the 3D-ish um, side-scrolling. Your Taz, you do a lot of spins. There's some characters from the Tasmania cartoon on it, which is pretty fantastic. I really do enjoy playing as um, Taz. You do some spins, crash around some things, um, which is very simple. Um, there's not really many tough parts that I can explain, but it is a fun game. Get it, play it, you'll, you fall in love with it. So this is a pretty fantastic game for the Super Nintendo. I had so much fun playing Tasmania after I rent this game um, from the video rental store when I had my neighbor's uh, Super Nintendo back at my old house in the town where I grew up. So um, you play it, you'll have a lot of fun playing this game. It is very fantastic, love it. Number two, Arrow the Acrobat. I um, had so much fun playing this game a lot since I've um, bought it years ago, and I'm still having a fun time playing it. You're pretty much a bat in the circus going through a lot of obstacles. So if you're into like exploring obstacles, get this game, although that you'll have tons of fun playing it. I love the uh, features of it. You'll Love the um, graphics and the music. It's pretty awesome. The um, Super Nintendo version, which I got here, is a lot better than the Sega Genesis version. That's my opinion. The um, graphics and everything to it, which is pretty fantastic. And, um, yeah, some of the uh, bosses there are, like, either too simple or um, hard at times. But, once you get the hang of it, it is no sweat. I love the uh, bonus stages, which... Did a pretty amazing job to it. You get like a lot of features to it, which is fantastic and wonderful. And now, number one Super Star Wars. Now, this is a pretty fantastic game. I love the graphics, the music is awesome. I love the sounds of the lightsaber. So, if you're into Star Wars, I highly recommend get this game if you have the Super Nintendo. Which is the, possibly the best Star Wars game out there. So I heard some people say that it's too tough 
but in my opinion, once you get the hang of it, then it should be no sweat, but this is a pretty amazing Super Nintendo game. The uh, graphics is awesome, that's my opinion, and I really do love this game a lot. It is very fantastic, and if you get a, have a Super Nintendo, I highly recommend getting this game. It is pretty awesome and wonderful. There is so much to explain of how great that this is a perfect gem in mine or anyone's Super Nintendo collection, so there is so much to say. Well, folks, there you have it. That is my top five hidden gems for my Super Nintendo collection that needs a ton of attention. Well, until next time, hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.